YouTube, Biker Mike here, back out in the Biker Mike shop. Got the Yamaha Viper propped up here, and I thought I'd do a video on checking the studs on a snowmobile track. There's a lot of videos out there on checking the carbides on the skis, but I didn't really see much on checking the actual studs on the track, which are actually just as important, if not more important, because if you have one come apart or if the track rips it can take out the heat exchanger and uh, drain all your coolant and pretty much destroy the engine in your snowmobile the other thing is these things don't last forever either and they wear down quite a bit and I've got this picture here to illustrate just how much they wore okay so I took one of the studs out of the track on the Viper and compared it to a brand new one that I still had and you can see clearly how much that studs wore down uh, it's about three millimeters that wore off of it and you can see the carbide tip all rounded off and the uh, shank of the stud wore right down too so keep in mind I've got probably about 5,000 kilometers on these studs and I guess it would probably all depend on the snow conditions you ride in. If you're riding in really good deep snow, they might not wear down as quick. But uh, I rode in probably a lot of low snow conditions just based on the location I live in. We don't really get a lot of good snow. But uh, just something here you want to check. And obviously the more wore down they are, the less traction you're going to get on the slippery icy corners when you need to slow down or just traction overall now the more obvious part of doing this is spinning the track around and checking each and every one of them make sure they're not bent give them a good solid wiggle and make sure there's no tears in the track make sure they're not loose or broken also once you've checked the back side of the track you want to go down here and look on the inside and spin the track around again and just make sure there's no tears in the track near the back of the stud so as you can see mine are pretty wore down so I'm gonna start looking for a new set but uh, I've got all summer to do it and obviously putting them back in changing them out is gonna be real simple I'm just gonna buy their replacement studs just like the ones I have and just drop them right back in the same holes with all new fasteners and I'll probably reuse my backing plates but we'll see how they look when I get them off all right guys just a real quick video there hopefully you guys found it informative if you like the video like the video and hopefully everybody's keeping healthy and safe out there we got a real problem going on we're in a tough but, situation uh, I'm gonna take advantage of my little term of unemployment here and start cranking out some more power sport videos hopefully you guys like them thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and if you're looking for a new set of studs for your snowmobile click the link down in the description there i linked some from my amazon every little bit helps thanks again biker mike out thank you very much that's really nice thank you